Hey guys. Okay, so welcome to day three. Oh my gosh, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna come up on here 27 days and be like, welcome to day 30 because I'm not feeling this challenge. Oh, I do wanna say though, um, I was doing the 100 days of counting calories and I think I'm on day 18 of that. So I'm still doing that. I've counted calories every single day. So we're still doing that. I know I saw a comment, um, someone asking about that. I replied to their comment, but I also just wanted to say it in here in case there were other people who were curious about that. We are still doing that day 18. So um, I like to start this by kind of talking about, you know, how it went after I ended my vlog last night. I, I can't find my tripod. I think it's in the back of the car, so that's why I'm having to hold this. I wish um, my tripod was in here, but it's okay. Um, but I want to talk about kind of like what happened last night after I ended the vlog. I ended up having a few sunflower seeds, which was okay with me because they were very low in calorie and I didn't even have a serving of them. So it kind of helped me. So again, I didn't binge. So that's two days in a row that I did not binge. And I do see that some people are super confused about overeating versus binging. Binging for me is a uncontrollable thing where I eat probably around 4,000 calories in one sitting. Overeating for me is where I might eat over, you know, 500 calories because I went out to eat or something like that. Um, huge difference. Uh, I'm not like a nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, nothing like that. So if you want to look it up, you can always just look it up and see if you can notice the difference. There's just a huge difference. A lot of people overeat, um, but then there's a difference between binging. Anywho, so um, I also want to start by saying that my weigh-in, um, yesterday I weighed in at 497.0, which was a one6 loss and today I weighed in at 495.4. Yay, so that means it was another 1.6 loss. So that means in two days I've lost 3.2 pounds. I also know, yes, I know, fluctuations are going to happen. I'm gonna probably gain a few days. Let's just hope not. <laughs> but some days I might only lose 0.2. Um, I get it, but me weighing myself is holding me more accountable because I can visually see what is going on on that scale. And for me to lose 3.2 in two days, that's amazing and that shows that I am going in the right track because I gain weight so freaking easy um so anyways I also wanted to talk about I never told you guys but my goal for this 30 day challenge is to lose 20 pounds that seems like a lot um but for someone my size I feel like I can do it if I try hard enough and I also want to talk about when I set my goal, I don't want to go over 2,200 calories. I noticed that with me walking so much and exercising so much, which I adore, it makes me so happy. The endorphins are real, you guys. I always thought that was just a lie to get you to exercise, but no, like the endorphins are real. Every time I'm done walking, I feel amazing. But um, I just noticed I'm more hungrier and normally on a day where I am binging and overeating, I eat anywhere between 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 calories in one day. So my goal, I've changed it to just not overeat to 3,000 calories. Just don't eat anywhere near 3,000 calories. Um, so if I have 2,400, that's okay. 2,500, that's okay. I am burning um, naturally. If I don't even move for the whole day, I'm burning over 2,000 calories. But since I am also on top of that walking, that's an extra 2,000 calories. So I'm burning over 4,000 calories every single day. So um, anyways, I feel like I'm rambling. I just wanted to start this vlog and let you guys know, hello, we are doing this thing. I am currently at 3.2K steps. So 3,200 and 8,000 is the goal. So I am hungry, keeping it simple with this good old bowl. I made like a salmon bowl, a little bit of salmon, onions, rice. I'm just going to put this in the microwave and then underneath is veggies. Okay, you can't really see it, but trust me. Oh, there they are. So, I'm gonna warm this up. Oh, Eric's food. Mm. 
Oh my God, I love salmon so much. So. So when I'm literally doing nothing and just waiting for the microwave, wait for something to cook, I will just walk around, get my steps in. Okay, so just did some walking as this was in the microwave. Just never stop moving. Um, I'm gonna add sriracha. Whew. That's gonna be nice and spicy. Uh, I forgot something. Hold on. Okay. I like to add just some low sodium soy sauce. Just a little. I wanna take my first bite with you guys. <laughs> Um, my camera is actually about to die, so I can't do like a mini mukbang. Maybe I can plug it in. You are plugged in. Okay. Um, I make the chicken in small piece or chicken. I'm so used to eating chicken, you guys. Salmon in small pieces and I just mix it all around like so. I just like my food to be mixed, depending on what it is. Look at that. Serving of rice, four ounces of the salmon, and two servings of the vegetables, and half of an onion. Here we go. Mm. Why? Why is this so good? Oh my gosh. This is great, you guys. Mm. Hot. I just like my meals to be simple. Because then I get too overwhelmed, you know? Mmm. I've been really hungry like all day <laughs> but after I had my breakfast I was like you know what in Berlin why are you still hungry I don't know what it was I think it was all in my head like I have mind hunger um boredom eating so I just got up and walked and I was like no you're not gonna eat until you know a few hours from now so I waited until that few hours came and then I didn't feel hungry anymore so Mm. Anyway, so that's my lunch for today. I have to get me a water. I'm gonna watch my um, extreme weight loss and uh, I'm just gonna have me my food because it's so good. Ah! So I am very behind on the Jeffree Star bandwagon here. I actually just recently started watching him a couple, I think months ago. And this, really? yeah, right here, so sensitive. I was like, block for Did you see it? No, it was is everything. I am loving this so freaking much, you guys. You guys need to watch this. It is, it is pretty great. So tonight for dinner, I have a serving and a half of whole grain pasta, uh, 100 calories worth of little baby shrimp. A small, uh, God, what do you call these? Onions. I just drew a blank because I'm like so hungry. Five black olives that I just cut in half. Um, about four servings of cauliflower. Uh, a serving of spaghetti sauce and uh, what else? A little bit of sriracha. So I did a lot of cauliflower. So it gave a lot of volume. I am really hungry. <laughs> so that is my dinner. Or tonight and if you're doing like keto or low carb or something you can always like obviously take out the pasta and just do um, a bunch of cauliflower but I like me some carbs <laughs> 
So I feel like I'm going to get a lot of questions on calories for this meal because it was so big and it's true. I'm so full. So 2.7 ounces of the spaghetti was 270 calories. The sauce I used was 80. The shrimp was actually only 100, but I just left it at 110 because sometimes I round up sometimes. Just remember to weigh everything. That's important. The olives were uh, 50 calories. It was 10 calories for one. So obviously... 50 for five and then the cauliflower was 80 calories i just made a bag that had four servings in it each serving was 20 calories and i just had the whole bag so this is totally random but i got a tweet today and this is what it said so they're pretty much asking how can you go from doing nothing to doing 8,000 steps a day like don't your feet hurt they do um at night it's the worst because obviously all the walking i've done throughout the day sometimes like oh my god my back hurts so bad but it only hurts when i'm walking sometimes my legs feel like they're gonna give out this is all completely normal and it's not i don't want to sit here and complain about it and think about it i try not to think of the pain i try not to talk about the pain because i just want to keep pushing forward the more i think about it and talk about it i'm just not going to want to do it because who likes pain nobody but there'll be no gains if there is no pain you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i just got to keep pushing forward so anyways Once I reach my 8,000th step for today, um, I did walk outside earlier today, but I didn't film that because I'm walking by myself and um, I was using my camera for music. Well, I film from my phone as most of you know, so, but uh, yeah. Oh, we reached it. What time is it? It is 11.20. 11.20 p.m. And I have reached it. Woo! Yes, we did this together, you guys. Are you laughing at me? No. <laughs> I was just laughing at a regular show meme. What did it say? I don't know if it's safe to say. What? Well, say it. I don't get it. He muscle man was blowing Benson because he's a bubblegum <laughs> machine. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. You can say that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll get monetized for that for sure. <laughs> so I just wanted to end my vlog. I reached my 8,000 steps while you guys were watching that. And um, calories for today, I still have... I've only ate about 1900 calories. I know a little bit later tonight, I'm probably gonna want like a snack or two. So I have these uh, sweet potato chips. They're super light and airy and they're really good. So I'm gonna have some of those and I might give myself um, a serving of M&Ms. I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with that, but I'm just doing things differently. I'm not clean eating this time. And I think that's what's helping me from not binging because when I'm too strict with myself, that makes me binge. But I'm allowing myself to have things like that if I want them. Um, a serving of M&M's, you get 32 M&M's for only 140 calories. Whatever. I'm proud of myself. Those are not going to make me gain weight. I can tell you that right now. So anyways, I actually have to wake up tomorrow super early. I'm only going to get a few hours of sleep tonight. So I know that's going to really mess up with my weigh-in. But I'm just, I'm hoping it's not going to because you lose weight in your sleep. You need to sleep at least like six to eight hours per night. It definitely helps with weight loss, but I'm going to end this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.